Hello, and what's up everybody? So today, I was thinking of uh, making a video that everybody finds it can uh, listen to and uh, understand what I'm saying. Not uh, making a Norwegian video, but an English one this time. Because I'm doing something that I found no video, just the original papers from Alamat to mount their uh, oil pan uh, kit with the modification of the oil pump. So in this video I'm going to show you what you need to do and hopefully make a little bit easier time for you guys so you don't have to scratch your head just as much as I did. As you can see here, I've got the uh, oil pump into the oil sump, but uh, the holes doesn't line up, if I can get it there, there you see. It doesn't line up, because it uh, hits on the underside here, so I'm going to try and uh, remove uh, more from it, and see if I can get it to fit. And also, I'm going to show you what to do before you put on the oil sump itself. So if you look on the engine itself, it's not uh, much of a modification it needs. It has the Alamat uh, engine mounts, the Alamat uh, oil pan, and uh, there is the lower oil pan with a plate inside for uh, so the oil can't uh, oil arrestor, I think it's called so the oil doesn't slush around. So it's uh, pretty simple really. But uh, when it comes uh, becomes complicated, it's with oil pump. So let's go over to the vise and uh, look at how it is. Oh, and uh, before we go to the vise, this is something uh, you need to do. You need to have the engine mounts uh, pretty far forward. They are there are some plates following the kit. They are welded to the subframe and uh, braced underneath. And this is just some uh, polyurethane uh, engine mounts I had laying around. But this is uh, also necessary to get this kit to fit on E46, E36 and E30. No, sorry, the E30 is uh, front sump, so that's no problem. E46, E36 and Z3, you need this kit to get it to work. And as you see in the, in the oil pan here, we have a, a bolt there and a nut with a nut inside. Those two have a switch at the places, that one was there and vice versa. And that's all you need to do here. And it's a return line from the oil pump stock location uh, that's uh, made M8 threads and put in a blinding nut and we have uh, cut the bolt of that one so it's no longer a stud but only a screw to hold down and the block uh, bracing so it's not uh, anything bad uh, happened to the engine this is just uh, small modifications. So this is going to be a quick and dirty explanation of how uh, and what I've done. Originally, the pressure from the oil pump goes through this into the engine block. The pickup is down here. So that's removed, blocked off. Pressure goes out here and into the block through this. Oil relief valve is uh, oil pressure relief is now here instead of uh, over here. We have uh, drilled out the hole to 18 millimeters and pushed in a sleeve. Same over here. We have drilled it out to 20, so this fits nice down here, and we don't screw up the O-rings. We have uh, ground this down to be flat. Same here flat, same here, flat, and flat, and a 45 degree chamfer here. The most important thing we have done to the pump is we have taken out 
the axle that normally comes out here. The pulley is here. We have taken it out, pressed the axle through the oil wheel, oil pump wheel, a little bit, a precise amount of uh, spacing, so, and turn it around. So now it's here. Turn the whole oil pump assembly on its head, push it down this way, because the pump will now be mounted inside the oil sump instead of in the engine block. It does not matter because my E46 was like this, had the same kit and worked wonderfully. This is just another engine in another car. So fast forward, this was, uh, <laughs> it took a long time to do this, but it's uh, it feels simple. You just cut a little here, cut a little there, cut a little there. We need to be somewhat precise for this to fit and for the chain to be perfect tight. You don't, you don't want it to be too tight and you don't want it to be too loose. So it's trial and error. I don't know if uh, I need to grind down this. I think this is the one to grind if it's uh, too tight. This one I have uh, grinded much. This one I have grind, grinded much. Also drilled to nine millimeters to get a little bit uh, of leeway. This one is stuck uh, sizing 8.2 uh, or something and uh, i'm a little bit eager to see because they say it might need down to one millimeter but it's now approximately two so i hope it's not too tight of a chain but we'll see i'm gonna grind down this put it back in the engine and see where we get from there so the last clip you saw was uh, last Sunday, so it was a week ago. We have done some more stuff. We have gotten a little bit longer chain since the origin original one from the X5 didn't fit. We have done some modification to the tube there. We had to pinch it off. Or not pinch it off. Uh, snip it off and open it again so that's just a return line so that's no biggie i'm gonna clean the sump here and then, we're, then it's time for installation of the oil pump <laughs> 